Welcome to this lesson on place value. What is a number? Primarily designed for last year of primary, grade 6. It's a simple introduction and recap of what place value is. So what is a number? So what is a number? Well, we've learned previously that a number can be written in various columns. There's a millions column, hundred thousand, ten thousand, thousands, hundreds, tens and units. And depending on where a digit sits in each of these columns decides the worth of that number. So for example, if I have the number 347, you'll notice the 3 is in the hundreds, 4 is in the tens, and the 7 is in the units. 347. What about 2306? 2306. Um, well, I've always wanted to be a millionaire. So what would happen if I had one million? Well, the way we actually say the numbers tends to give us a hint as to how to work this out. So we have one in the million column and zeros all other places. Pretty easy so far. Um, what about 10,462? There we go, 10,462. Now one of the things I like to do is put commas in, and I know that commas aren't necessarily used as much now as they used to be, but let's put commas. We know that there should be a comma after every three digits from the right hand side. So normally we would put a comma here, and we would put a comma here. Now what I think of this column, I actually say the word millions for that column, or in fact million. And for this comma here, I tend to say the word thousand. So let's just see. If I put the comma in here, and here, and here, and here now, let's just see. So this comma stands for thousand, two thousand three hundred and six. Ah, oh, hold on a moment. That makes numbers a little bit easier to read. Let's try again. 10,462. Ah, and notice that the numbers are grouped in threes. So there are three numbers here, and we just say them as 347. This number here is grouped into three, 306, but it's 2,306. What about this one here? Well, it's just zero, but it's part of a bigger number that says one million. And 10,462. Hmm, interesting. What about if I had oh, this number? And I'll put the comma back in. Well, let's just see. We read the numbers in groups of three. So that's 346,000. 217. Easy, really. So what do we remember? We remember that we try and group our numbers in threes. The commas help us, they just separate things out. And if we need to, we can think of the first comma as thousands and the second comma as millions. In a previous video, it became necessary to think of numbers in expanded notation. What is expanded notation? Uh, let's think of the number Something simple first, 24. What is 24 the same as? Well, in expanded notation, we would write this as 20 plus 4. We split up each of the individual digits into their place value. So this 2 stands for 2 tens, or 20. This 4 stands for, well, just 4. Ah, what about something more complicated? Um, what about 268? Well, in expanded notation, that would be written as 200 plus 60 plus 8. All right, remember the 2 stands for 200. The 6 stands for 60 and the 8 stands for 8. So in expanded notation, I would have 200 plus 60 plus 8. And finally with this example, what about this number? Well, I'm going to put a comma in here, just to remind me, and a comma here. And let's think about this. Right, I've got the number. Well, sometimes it's also easier to write this going down the page. 
down the page, what do you mean? Well, let's think of this 2 as 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Where did we get that from? 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And I'm going to add on to that the 3, which is 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. What about the 7? Well, the 7 has 3 zeros. And there are no hundreds. Tricks. So I don't need to write that down. 4 tens, 40 plus 6. And now I would probably write that out in long ways, just so that it makes it easier for someone to read. So 200,000 plus 30,000 plus 7,000 plus 40 plus 6. There you go. That's expanded notation. Just splitting the number up into its individual place values. Now, again, remember, because maths is a big fat trick, they may ask you, what does that 3 stand for in an exam? What does the 3 stand for? Well, think about it. It's in the 10,000s column, right? So it stands for 30,000. That's what they're asking you to write, right? A lot of people make mistakes and they just go, well, it's 3. No, it isn't. What it stands for is 30,000. Three and one, two, three, four zeros. All right, three and four zeros. What else might they ask for you in a question? Let's come up with a different number. All right. Hopefully we now can read that as 26,397. Well, they may well actually ask you to write that out in words. 26,397. And that's what we would write out. 26,397. Again, maybe it's helpful to remember that if we, again, maybe it's helpful to remember that this thing here stands for the word thousand. And what did you notice? I wrote the word thousand. So there's my 26, 26,397. Whew, let's do a complicated example. Ooh, that looks pretty tough. Well, why not let's put in the commas first to try and help us. I'm going to put a comma here and a comma here. Remember, after each three numbers, from the start, three numbers, put a comma. Three numbers, put a comma. Right, let's see whether we can now type this up and put it in words. Three. First column, we know stands for million. 409, because that's my next three, and there's a comma. Thousand and... 46. Let's just check we're right. Three. There's my number three. There's the comma. Million. We look at the next three numbers. 409. Oh, comma. Thousand. And we normally put the word and because it sounds silly otherwise. 46. 46. There we go. Big smiley face. What about if we were to try and do numbers the other way? Because sometimes in maths we can do things backwards. Wow, that looks like a pretty long number. So let's just see what we did. Remember, we need to put, let's put our commas in. I'm going to put a comma in here and I'm going to put a comma in here. Now, two hundred, there's my thousand. There's the number word thousand. So the three things before it or the words before it may stand for just a thousand. 256,000. Well, what does the number 256 look like? Well, there's 256. There's a comma. What does 327 look like? 327. And there we go. I've got my comma, so the number 327 goes there, and 256 goes there, and there we go. I have my number 256,000. 327. Mm. What about if they try and trick us with expanded notation? Mm, I'm not so sure we'll get tricked. 
Let's imagine they gave us the number currently shown on the screen. 400,000 plus 30,000 plus 5,000 plus 200 plus 90 plus 9. Well, we can fill this in backwards if we want to, or we can do it forwards. I'm going to look at that 9. I know that stands for 9 units. There we go. 90, that's 9 tens. 200 is 2 hundreds. 5,000 must be 5 thousands. 30,000 must be three lots of 10,000. And 400,000 must be four lots of 100,000. And lo and behold, there's my number. 4, 3, 5, comma, 2, 9, 9. So now we can take expanded notation and do it forwards as well as backwards. That's the end of this lesson. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.